Welcome back as our playthrough of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. All right, so I decided to switch over to Peter. I really wanted to rock the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, one of the best suits in the game. No debate, no question. You can't argue that. Oh, I hear something. I was going to do the uh, next main quest. Let's grab this real fast for Peter. So we're going to do that in a second. Let's grab some of this stuff. All right, splendid. All right, now we're heading to the Emily May Foundation, which sounds like an adult friend finder site for men who want to cheat on their spouses, but I digress. I don't know. It's a choice. <laughs> Emily May Foundation. Come on. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Particle accelerator. Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was gonna give him a tour, let him decide for himself. All right. You know, Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Nope. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. I'm assuming entomology is the study of bees. Pet data does not cross with the AI during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Ah, this is BR. <laughs> These little drones are essentially bee body clothes that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. Love your You've got great data. Okay, why not? Welcome to Entomology. 
If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's These drones go. are rad. There's a bunch of bee drones flying around the room. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. He says, do you have a We're sick? doing cutting-edge proton beam work. I'll call you in a bit. Using protons instead of x-rays with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Just so we don't have to worry about that again. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. Still is. It seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. All right, what do we got? Did you do the XRF analysis? Uh, what if I needed a higher resolution spectrometer? Oh, there's stuff to click on. Okay. I mean, we get better analysis. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. I wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. I... Did we fight the lizard in the first game? I don't remember that. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Interesting. I don't remember seeing anything about Connors until now. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Meteor is not a Fascinating. That's precisely the issue. The accelerator is going to need a full recalibration. Who's going to tell Nico? I think in many iterations of the comic storyline, the Venom symbiote showing up on Earth was the result of it landing on uh, on our planet from a meteor. I think the movies, the comics, animated shows all have some sort of yeah. reference to them. Work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. God, just do yourself a favor for once. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Wanna feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. Is it? That is actually pretty cool. I'm just being a jerk. May would have loved this place. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. 
These bikes, can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Wow, he's actually now, stepping on, hang on each individual You're stair. A popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. That's him. You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? Hello? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I've never seen a video game character ever step on each individual step like that, ever. That's the first time I've ever seen it, because they usually just, like, scurry between the steps. The algorithm is similar to... Like, who pays attention to that level of detail? Look at it that way. Got it. Insomniac, apparently. That's amazing. Damn. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Yeah. Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Oh, I see. Sort of. Interesting. Super cool. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. 
You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Last Might be my favorite. Like it's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. I really got wow. more security. Swipe. Really? For a sake of world? Wow. I such. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? Peter should say yes. You can do both. It's amazing. You can do more here than you can in Spider-Man, honestly. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, one quick thing. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. Man, I wish I had a friend like that. <laughs> or a friend in general. I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? always all about balance. What's Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> if I was Peter, I would tell him that I was Spider-Man. Be like, look, this is, this is a secret got to keep between us. This is what I do. This will come between us and the job type of thing. All right, Miles. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. All right. I'm trying to make sure that my cam doesn't get in the way of important things hey, that pop up. sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. Spider-Man. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Actually, let me... I want to do this EMF thing, because, like, there's a lot of side things that, that are popping up, and I want to make sure that... If they unlock suits and other important upgrades that uh, we spend time on them. Well, Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. <laughs> Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community. 
starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Not exactly a Spider-Man thing, but Easy okay. Enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. Feed the people. On this. Let's look for the best samples. Okay, are they in this pile or am I like going elsewhere? I'm not sure what we want. There's no direction. Should be something around here. Okay, he's looking in the green area. Okay. What are we looking for? I have no clue. Scan these vines. Oh, okay. I forget that that scanning thing is a, you know, a thing. There we go. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Got it. Okay, I understand. I forgot about the scanning thing. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Peter Parker is easily the greatest superhero of all time. He genuinely wants to help with the most selfless means possible, and I don't think any other superhero is like that. I mean, there are... It's technically a weed, <sighs> but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. There are, but not on his level. Together. Superman, Batman, Tony Stark, nobody. Nobody comes close. Peter is just like the purest of us all. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. It's cool. Let's see. That's not gonna work, because I don't have a blue here. Oh wait, can I rotate this? Return reset. No, it's not gonna work. I need to get you out of there. Nope, wrong one. Can't wait to see this grow. Nope, nope. Yeah, this one. Shoot. Oh wait, this is right. If this works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Curious that he's doing all these, like... Yikes, gotta patch this up. Some webs should do the trick. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Is it outside? No. There we go. Hmm. Pipe's blocked by that car. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Huh. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? Was there another pipe that burst? I don't think so. Where? I don't even see one. Oh, there it is. I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't cool. need to know Spider-Man helped out. I mean, he might have an idea. Field projects the EMF is working on. With the whole thing covered in webs. There's a lot of side quests that are super unusual. Like, these are not things you'd think a superhero would take the time to do, but he's doing them. so crazy seeing him fly. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? No, they're right. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. 
We were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. What the hell? Oh, it's invisible. Huh? Screenshots. Okay. Pixel Spider Man, baby. What in the. Whoa. Right out in the open. Ah. Classic Spider Man. Arachnid, come on! Now, have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! The true hunter knows how to come up. You could have just said, I don't know! <laughs> Nice shot. Seriously, though, where'd your boss take Lee and Gargan? <laughs> Suck on that one, Oliver Queen. Really? There we go. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. I mean, he can let Miles do it all. Science, though, yeah. For actual money. Oh my God, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Oh. Okay, let cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Yeah, let Miles do all the work and then occasionally you help if you need to, but focus on the greater good, man. Yeah, saving street level thugs or fighting street level thugs is one thing. But like, you can save the world all the time. Not everything is a battle with criminals. It's a battle against up, up, nature. And you won't get away. No, 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 no. Nice cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. Two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where is he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of me. <laughs> You're not worthy and she falls off the edge and dies. <laughs> Where's your boss? There's no way Craven is just chilling here. Keep forgetting the scan feature. Anything here? No. There we go. Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? See, look how good that suit looks. Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Oh, 
last thing you say, huh? MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta draw one of them away. something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm international mercenaries that's what i'm thinking could be front page material for your article i'm writing it up now thanks oh and speaking of work connection i accepted harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon face and this market's really cool not so much for that that's their leader everyone now what were they up to hello surveillance video from the blind i was just at looks like they've got others all around the city i'll send this to ganky but he could help pinpoint these What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded. Well, you're using Just make sure the piece has the right scent. What's it? You hungry too? <clears throat> why doesn't he ever try and like probe for answers for these people? For me? You shouldn't have. Oh. oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. for a test drive surrounding bases are online Remain how does he not have this already cloaking feels operational good beetles talent drones ammunition rations hmm. still missing some shipments they don't ever yell these guys are better equipped than most armies this craven guy must be rich or well connected both. Both. Fair enough. But I did not expect Craven to care so much 
Oh, I've seen him walk a hunter back from the brink of death when he carries in his pouches. He doesn't restrict himself with the straight jacket of modern medicine. That explains a lot. What do you mean? No man can have strength with him. Not normal. That's what focus gives you. He knows nothing but the hunt. Perhaps if you focus more on yourself instead of others, you could be a strong to Perhaps. You never told me who you bet on outside Volgograd. His name does not deserve to be spoken. I thought his youth would give him the advantage. And he had lived there all his life. New trails perfectly. It makes sense. But his age is what did he mean. He got impatient <coughs> against the one man who does more. You think another hunter will challenge Graven here? Do not be deterred! Give around. Graven is giving us the greatest hunt of our lives in this city. We were aiming. I found Webby! Truly is the land from which you Now. Just want to see how many of these I can take down. I gave my my location sort of, but was it him? Found more Webby. I need He's here. Damn, he got away. Can I go under here? I do like this. That's such a useful thing. slightly better hunter okay there's those two to next looks like this is the only way I'm surprised they don't have any tech in here that you can grab a research lab Aunt May was so proud of her work at feast Lee broke bad in a big way I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Yeah. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpowered gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. I doubt for himself. Craven has got too much pride. Art Lee, Matt Gargan. Same in toxin effects. Yeah, a lot of toxin venom references. I mean, those are common words considering what they're doing, but I'm still curious. That's 
the tiara apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess craving could. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. Of Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Yeah, I'm not really interested in reading all that. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in the city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, then the fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not wait for them? I will hip in on his terms, not fights. Nap time. For the bird. I feel like they'd probably have like a sensor or something. That would be like, hey, this thing is offline or whatever. Surprised this guy didn't notice that other one being webbed up. There we go. How do they like, you know, get down? Oh, <laughs> 
could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and what Leo the hell? Hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. How is it not making his? There it is. Don't we have electric webs to deal with Never this gonna thing? Win best in show with that attitude. Nice doggy kitty robot. <laughs> Those teeth are no joke. Heal, pull over, play dead. Finally, I was wondering when animal control would show up. Craven guy's putting together quite the team.
Did he kill him? Aaron Taylor Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. He's hunting the villain. There is prey. Felicia. Damn, son. All right, I think we'll wrap it up right there. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Spider-Man 2. We'll continue right here where we left off in the next one. If you enjoyed this one, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Spider-Man 2. All right, guys. That's it for me. Take care. Be well. See you next time.